so let us talk about the interhalogen compounds now interhalogen compounds by name it is clear made by two halogens now whenever the interhalogen compounds is there it is in the form of x x dash 1 x x dash 3 x x dash 5 x x dash 7 where the right side element has to be more electronegative that means the x dash here is more electronegative and the left side element have plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 oxidation states before going to that let us focus upon here also these are the oxy acid the structures only are important for the neat examination hypochlorous acid clear cut structure like this is there here chlorine have to make a bond with you can think it this way chlorine has to make a bond with one OH so one electron involved here of chlorine it has seven electrons in the last shell one electron involved here so one two three lone pairs will come total six electrons hypochlorous acid plus one the anion of hypochlorous acid is clo minus known as hypochlorite not ride right te similarly hclo2 you get cl one oh has to be associated and cl other o will be double bond o there are two oxygens so chlorine have seven electrons in the last shell three you can see are utilized so how many left four so two lone pairs will come so here the hybridization becomes clear cut sp3 and the structure is going to be bent v or we can also say angular so his anion that is clo2 minus is known as because it is chlorous acid ovous acid anion is it so chloride okay, sir. like here it was hypochlorous so hypochlorite it is chlorous chloride ic acid anions are eight so in the same way clo3 minus will come it is chlorate ion Going ahead about the structure here, we have three oxygen and one hydrogen. So one OH will come. Remaining two will be double bond O, double bond O. So one, two, three, four, five bonds are made. Seven electrons were there. So one lone pair left. So this will also be sp3. And the structure is going to be pyramidal just like ammonia. Going ahead, this is perchloric acid plus seven oxidation state. This is in plus three. Sorry, uh, plus five. And this is in plus seven. So perchloric acid, highest oxidation state, perchloric acid. Anion is going to be ClO4 minus, that is per chlorate ion. How to make the structure? Simple here, there are four oxygen. So one OH will come because only one hydrogen is there. Remaining three oxygen, double bond O, double bond O, double bond O. So out of seven electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the seven are, seven are utilized. No lone pair on the central atom. Habitation again, sp3 structure kind of tetrahedral structure will come so this is about the oxy acids of halogen instead of chlorine bromine iodine can also come that's not a problem now going ahead so if chlorine and fluorine react in equal volume you get clf if the fluorine is more clf3 similarly iodine chlorine equimolar as icl chlorine is excess icl3 icl3 exists as a dimer icl3 exist as a dimer that is i2cl6 and icl3 i can write like this and one more icl3 i can write like this so it will appear like the alcl3 kind of a structure but there is a huge difference there are one two two lone pair each on the iodine so you have to understand it's not like alcl3 structure looks like this if you ignore the lone pair but lone pairs are also there so understand the hybridization is different one two three four four sigma bond two lone pair so steric number six so sp3d2 is the hybridization of the iodine here in the dimer form so icl3 is a orange color solid who exists as dimer going ahead bromine with fluorine there is a huge difference in size huge difference fluorine is exceptionally small so what happens in the dilute solution itself you will get brf3 in the other two cases the size difference was not significant so icl and clf you got but fluorine being exceptionally small, bromine is okay, okay in size, fluorine is very small in size. So, because of this huge difference, BrF3 is made and in the excess BrF5 is made. So, for chlorine, fluorine and iodine, chlorine, these two are made. This in less amount, this in more amount. If the X dash is less, you get this. If the X dash is more, you get this. But for bromine, fluorine, if the X dash is less, you get 3. If the X dash is more, you get 5. What happens when you send them to the aqueous solution? Very nice, beautiful reaction occurs here. You will love it. So, fluorine is in minus 1. Fluorine is in plus 3. So, fluorine minus 1 will attract what from water? It's a hydrolysis reaction. Water has H plus and OH minus. 
सो एफ माइनस विल अट्रैक्ट एच प्लस सिंपल अट्रैक्शन एच एफ कम्स आउट क्लोरिन इन प्लस थ्री पिक इट अप सो क्लोरिन प्लस थ्री हेयर यू विल गेट दिस एसिड विच इज एच सी एल ओ टू सिमिलरली आई कैन पिक अप दिस ऑल्सो बट द सेम आंसर विल कम फॉर अ चेंज आई विल पिक अप दिस वन आई सी एल लेट अस सी वट हैपन्स क्लोरिन इज इन माइनस वन आयोडिन इज इन प्लस वन राइट साइड पर्सन ऑलवेज माइनस मोर इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव आइटम तो भैया क्लोरिन माइनस वन विल टेक एच प्लस बिकम्स एच सी एल आयोडिन प्लस वन विल बिकम एच ओ आई जस्ट लाइक एच ओ सी एल सिमिलरली आई कैन पिक बी आर एफ फाइव ऑल्सो ब्रोमिन प्लस फाइव आयोडिन माइनस वन गोज इन वॉटर एफ माइनस अट्रैक्ट एच प्लस टू बिकम एच एफ बी आर प्लस फाइव सो प्लस फाइव एच सी एल ओ थ्री सो हेयर एच बी आर ओ थ्री विल बी मेड सो दिस इज हाउ द रिएक्शन अकर्स इन ऑल दीज केसेस नेक्स्ट दे आस्क अबाउट द रिएक्टिविटी आर रिगार्डिंग द रिएक्टिविटी वन वेरी सिंपल थिंग इज देयर फ्लोरिन इज द मोस्ट रिएक्टिव देन एनी इंटर हेलोजन कंपाउंड देन एनी अदर हेलोजन सो आउट ऑफ आई टू एंड आई सी एल हु इज मोर रिएक्टिव तो भैया आई सी एल इज मोर रिएक्टिव एज पर एन सी आर टी आई वुड नॉट से इट इज करेक्ट बट आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग वट इज वेर इन एन सी आर टी रियल रीजन इज दैट इट इज पोलर इन नेचर दैट्स वाई मोर रिएक्टिव रिएक्टिविटी बट एन सी आर टी से दैट रिएक्टिविटी इज प्रपोर्शनल टू द इनवर्स इज पोर्शनल टू द बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी सो इफ द बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी इज लेस रिएक्टिविटी इज मोर सो इफ दे आस्क यू अजर्शन रीजन क्वेश्चन कि आई सी एल आई टू आर कंपेयर एंड द आई सी एल रिएक्टिविटी इज मोर वट इज द रीजन द रीजन वी विल से इफ द रिएक्टिविटी इज मोर बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी हैज टू बी लेस अगेन आई एम नॉट थिंग इट इज करेक्ट इट्स नॉट फ्रॉम माई साइड एम टेलिंग यू वट इज देर इन एन सी आर टी आई डोंट थिंक इट इज वेरी परफेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन बिकॉज वैन फ्लोरिन इज कंसिडर्ड देन यू विल गेट कन्फ्यूज कि सर फ्लोरिन तो बॉन्ड एंथेल्पी यू टोल्ड इन दिस सेम वीडियो इज मोर देन आईओडीन देन हिज रिएक्टिविटी शुड बी लेस आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू ऑल दोज थिंग्स वाई आई हैव टू टीच एन सी आर टी एंड एन सी आर टी इफ इट इज रॉन्ग वी हैव टू टीच रॉन्ग आई एम रेरी रेली रेली सॉरी अबाउट इट प्रॉपरली फ्रॉम द एन सी आर टी साइड्स बट दिस इज वट यू हैव टू आंसर इफ यू वॉन्ट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन द एक्सप्लेनेशन विच आई फील करेक्ट इज दैट मोर पोलर ऑब्वियसली मोर रिएक्टिव जस्ट लाइक इन ऑर्गेनिक बेनजीन वॉज मोर रिएक्टिव देन बेनजीन so this was about the interhalogen compound make sure you read the uses of the halogen interhalogen from the ncert thank you so let us enter into the last segment of the p block so starting from the structures of the interhalogen compounds i am starting now clf is linear because two atoms are there they will not be forming a circle obviously na yaar so it's going to be linear talking about brf3 in brf3 fluorine will form only single bond bromine have seven electrons in the last shell three bonds formed by fluorine so three electrons consumed four left so two lone pairs will come three sigma bond will come hybridization sp3d will come and t shape clear cut t shape you can see there brf5 same logic seven electrons are there five bonds made one lone pair left so one lone pair and five normal bonds hybridization sp3d2 square pyramidal IF7 seven electrons all seven making the bonds pentagonal bipyramidal IF7 similarly BRF3 is there ICL3 also you can say but not ICL3 gas we can say not the dimer or you can also say CLF3 all these will have the same structure CLF ICL will have the same structure BRF5 ICL5 will have the same structure in that way we have to go out of pentahalide na only IF7 is stable remaining remaining X X dash X dash seven. They are not stable. IF seven is sufficiently stable. Only that one exists. Talking about the noble gases here: helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. Size increases. Ionization enthalpy decreases. Top to bottom density increases. Melting point, boiling point increases. Melting point, boiling point is very logical thing here. Density as usual. Top to bottom mass increases. Density increases. Melting point, boiling point. What is important here? Just like I discussed in the previous group also. Size becomes larger. Van der Waals force of attraction increases. So automatically melting point boiling point also increases exceptional thing that electron affinity of helium is maximum that means electron gain enthalpy acha electron gain enthalpy of all the noble gases all the noble gas electron gain enthalpies are positive that means when you add electron you have to provide energy for adding it it will not be releasing energy in very simple words they are not happy in taking electron but the least unhappy is helium that means his electron gain enthalpy is least positive electron gain enthalpy is for helium least positive it's exceptional case that's why i'm writing it separately remaining top to bottom usually we know that electron affinity top to bottom decreases same order is followed there not much important 
रिगार्डिंग आर्गन यार आर्गन इज द मोस्ट अबंडंट गैस नोबल गैस इन द एटमोस्फेयर सो आर्गन इज द मैक्सिम इन द एटमोस्फेयर हीलियम हिज बॉइलिंग पॉइंट यू कैन सी इंक्रीजिंग सो हीलियम बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज मिनिमम इनफैक्ट इज नॉट इवन मिनिमम इन दिस ग्रुप इट इज मिनिमम इन द होल पीरियोडिक टेबल ऑफ एनी एलिमेंट द मिनिमम बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज फोर पॉइंट टू कैलविन दैट इज द लोएस्ट फॉर एनी एलिमेंट वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी दैट हीलियम हैव इज दैट लिक्विड हीलियम can pass through the glass so if you store it in a glass vessel or a rubber vessel in the lab it will pass through it understood bhaiya it's very simple thing it's very small so it can go inside the holes and pass through the glass or rubber that we use in the lab to store any liquid substance otherwise now ionization enthalpy of xenon and o2 is nearly same xenon has ionization enthalpy of 117 5 kJ per mole and oxygen has o2 molecular oxygen has not oxygen atom molecular oxygen o2 has ionization enthalpy of 1170 kJ per mole and a compound sorry 1175 kJ per mole and a compound o2 ptf6 minus was known of oxygen xenon is 1170 kJ per mole o2 is 1175 kJ per mole approximately same in fact xenon has lower ionization enthalpy so there was a scientist theek okay, hai name is not important but bartlett is his name okay because of that person we have to read this chapter right now because he discovered if the ionization enthalpy is nearly same that means if oxygen makes such a compound xenon must also make before that everyone thought they are noble gas they are inert gases they don't react afterwards when the first compound of a noble gas xptf6 was obtained after that people found except argon neon xenon sorry argon neon helium that means the first three element they their compounds are not yet known luckily so bhaiya pass neat examination this year why otherwise you never know next year argon will also give two three compounds then you have to study them also for krypton we know uh, krypton we know some uh, fluorides there like krf2 is known so bhaiya what happens argon neon helium compounds are not yet known but it is expected that maybe they will come in the near future but it's not there in the ncert but xenon started showing the compound formation mostly with fluorine and oxygen fluorine oxygen are our shankar dada and shrikant in the periodic table they form compound with almost every single element so xenon react with fluorine at 673 kelvin 873 kelvin 7 bar and 573 kelvin under high pressure we get xgf2 solid xgf4 solid and xgf6 solid xgf4 can become xgf6 with o2f2 also if you remember it is a very good chlorinating agent it converted plutonium to puf6 also it also converts xgf4 to fgf xgf6 hydrolysis reaction how to remember here remember for xgf2 xgf2 is xenon plus hf plus o2 for xgf4 copy the same thing xenon plus hf plus o2 theek hai bhai sir and in this reaction one extra compound is also made that is xgo3 xgo3 is also made with xgf4 so if they ask you ki xgf2 xgf4 hydrolysis xyz is formed but p p another compound p is formed with xgf4 which is not formed with xgf2 what is p so p is xgo3 what are the common compounds xenon xenon hf hf o2 o2 carrying on xgf6 on hydrolysis what happens understand these two hydrolysis reactions are redox reaction these two hydrolysis reactions are redox in fact i should write here these two hydrolysis reactions are redox reaction you can understand xenon from plus 2 and plus 4 is going to zero oxidation state so yes it's a redox reaction but this reaction is not a redox reaction the hydrolysis of xgf6 is not redox oxidation state of xenon was plus 6 will remain plus 6 what to do give oxygen o2 minus will come so to balance the charge 2f minus has to go so when 1 o2 minus comes 2f minus goes so xgo f4 is made similarly out of 6 2f minus goes similarly one more o came two more f went so xgo2 f2 is made furthermore adding furthermore hydrolysis this is partial hydrolysis this is also partial now complete hydrolysis one more o will come these remaining two ox fluorine will also go xgo3 is made so out of 6 firstly one o came two four fluorine left one more o came two fluorine left one more o came only o left xgo3 it is a colorless explosive solid apart from that xgf2 xgf4 xgf6 they can act like a fluoride acceptor donor both it depends upon the other person if the other person is pf5 sbf5 they have vacant d orbitals and they love to take the f minus so xgf2 xgf4 will give them f minus becoming xgf plus pf6 minus xgf3 plus sbf6 minus 
but if you take sodium to cesium fluorides which are highly ionic fluorides so they will give f minus happily so fzf6 will take the f minus making f plus xzf7 minus so we understand xenon fluorides are fluoride acceptor as well as donor depends upon the other person talking about the structure xzf6 is distorted octahedral how many lone pair on the central atom one lone pair is there on the central atom so what happens here this is xz f f f f F, F. This is octahedral and one lone pair is there inside the box. Octahedral is like a box here. Inside the box, one lone pair is there which keeps on flipping but it remains inside the box only for most of the times. That is why it is called distorted octahedral. Going ahead, XZF4 you might have known because xenon have 8 electrons in the last shell. 4 fluorine means 4 bonds made, 4 electron left that means 2 lone pairs left. So 2 lone pair and 4 sigma bonds. So clear cut square planar structure will come here. You can understand these two lone pair are like battatala. Battatala means nothing. So battatala, battatala, so it's square planar. Going ahead, XZF2 is linear. How? XZF2, xenon have 8 electron. F2 means 6 electrons left now because out of 8, 2 made bond with fluorine F2. 6 left means 3 lone pair. So 3 lone pairs, 2 sigma bond, hybridization sp3d. Here the hybridization was sp3d2. So what happens here? Sp3d we have. Sp3d, three lone pairs we get. And two sigma bond. So it's a linear structure. Also the other examples of linear structure is I3 minus and ICL2 minus of the same type. Sir, how can you say they are of same type? Any trick is there? I'll tell you the trick here. Trick is very simple. Count the valence electron including charge. If the valence electron including charge is same, they are 100% isostructural. Check. Xenon 8, fluorine 7, fluorine 7. So 8 plus 14, 22 valence electron. I3 minus iodine 7. So 3 iodine, 21 and 1 negative charge, 22. ICL2 minus iodine 7, chlorine 7, chlorine 7. So 21 and 1 negative charge, 22. So all of them have 22 valence electrons. So by here, all of them are isostructural linear structure. 2018 NEAT exam. Also there in the exercise of NCRT. Turn the page and check. You will get this question there. Going ahead. XUF4, how to make the structure? Oxygen makes a double bond. We know that to get the octate. Fluorine makes single bond. So XZ have 8 electrons. Oxygen made a double bond. Fluorine, oxygen made a double bond. Fluorine made... How many bonds? Four. So four also gone. So one lone pair left. So one lone pair, four fluorine and one double bond O. So the structure is square pyramidal and habitation is again sp3d2 because one, two, three, four, five sigma bond and one lone pair. XZO3, same way are eight electrons O3. So one, two, three oxygen will take six electrons, lone pair left. So one lone pair, three sigma bond and obviously three pi bond also. So XZO3 you got. SP3 hybridization structure pyramidal it's an explosive solid so this was about the p block elements completed i hope that before seeing or after seeing the video you are planning to read the ncrt also read ncrt very well all my best wishes are with you you'll be very easily be able to understand all the topics and remember them one small thing i will add at the last see it does not matter how well you understood the blocks what matters is how much times you have read so even though you have understood the blocks very well also one time, two time, it's better to always read the NCRT within at least 15 days gap. So make sure that all the S block, P block, including D and F also, whenever we do the video, we have to make sure that we have to do multiple readings. One single good reading is very good for physics, is very good for physical chemistry, may be good for organic also a little bit, but for inorganic chemistry, do quick quick readings multiple number of times so that your brain can store the information for longer period of time. All the very best. Thank you.